Hey everybody, welcome to Northern Lion Tries Neon Abyss. This is oh, oh, roguelite action platformer in the vein of uh, a neon enter the gungeon. Let's put it that way. It's a side-scrolling uh, roguelite. I actually watched Dan play a little bit of this today and noticed that I had a code in my inbox. So thank you to the publisher for the code. This comes out on Steam July 14th, which is today's the 10th. So it's not the 11th, the 12th, or the 13th, which would be Saturday, Sunday, Monday. So it's next Tuesday, this upcoming Tuesday. Let's give it a try here. It looks a little bit like like Enter the Gungeon. Um, I'm trying to think of what it meets. So a side-scrolling action platformer. My friend, the enemy of my enemy. I'm Hades. Titan Group took most of my powers and destroyed your family, by the way. I need fighters like you to put an end to Titan's reign. All right, Baba Yaga. If you seek revenge, drink it. Gulp. As we enter the sunken place. It's a very stylish, uh, very good looking game, as you will see as well. Oh my god, a little on the loud side on my end. But let's get it moving here. I don't think I'm uh, I don't think I'm covering anything particularly useful here, I hope at least. Space. The longer you press, the higher you jump. I can work with that. How about one of those? Jump down through the jump pad? My god. The man can't be stopped. So it's uh, obviously, as you might expect, we use our um, left mouse button plus cursor to aim here. The way you do in every shooter that's ever been made in Earth's history. And uh, you know what? Aim Beast, you may have thought it was just for Call of Duty. That's not the case. You can always work on your aim in... Uh, in other games as well. Active item. Active items will grant you special powers. Most of them will cost crystals crystals to use. Terry. There are fish bones all over the place. Active. You can't use... Hold on. Feel, excuse me? You can fly. I thought that was an apostrophe that said you can't fly in current room. Alright, so we can then get up here using our active and unlock this. Because I am the master of unlocking. We've received another grenade. And, uh, okay. It's a cool little balloon. I get it. Use bomb. You need more practice to master throwing bombs. Use them to blast apart these stones. You're not wrong. <laughs> it turns out I did need more practice. Hold on. We can make that. We can make that. Oh, I didn't mean to throw a bomb that time. Rainbow. Color the world. Passive eggs will never hatch. Okay, I mean, this is literally the face melter from Gungeon. Not that there's anything wrong with that. Thank you for the key. Um, eggs. These eggs will hatch into different pets as your adventure continues, though the process doesn't always result in a success. So yeah, one of the things that's neat is they do uh, have these eggs, and they hatch into uh, familiars. Is this a little secret or something? I guess you got to face in the other direction to throw it in the other the grenade in the other direction. Um, so yeah, these these will hatch into familiars at certain intervals throughout the game that, admittedly, I'm not a hundred percent sure of. So we we actually will gather a, a source of familiars throughout the run, which is kind of interesting. I don't believe there's an active for this gun, so we'll just shoot. Help! Oh, did you see that dodge though? He can't be stopped. So far, I mean, by tutorial standards, this is pretty, pretty standard, really. We're getting there. George, you are not long for this world. You're, you're jumping like a Super Mario Land 2, the search for the six golden coins boss right now. It's been hard-coded into my brain how to deal with this pattern. Okay, never mind, I got... <laughs> yes, yeah, step on me. God, I wish that were me. Alright, you've been destroyed. Strange mask. That is actually the mask from the mask. Somebody stop me. What did I tell you? Add extra bullets per shot and a shield. Okay. Cool. I didn't get that money that was over there, though. You'll gain wisdom if you clear out a room without getting hurt. Otherwise, you'll gain violence. Those are roguelite mechanics I tend not to concern myself with early on here. All right. Um, maybe a bomb allows us to enter this room? Oh, but we do not have... Uh, a bomb yet, so let's let's get some work done. So yeah, I mean, I, I play a lot of roguelites, obviously. I was very um, 
interested when I saw Dan playing this. Uh, because you, you can sort of just get a vibe, I guess. You know, when you watch someone play a game like this, you get the vibe of, Oh, jeez Louise! You can bounce on their heads, I didn't know that. Probably just the enemies that are big fluffy hamburgers, I guess. Um, you kind of get the vibe pretty quickly whether or not this is... Uh, I don't want to say whether or not it's worth your time or not, but, you know... Whether it's... Because uh, there's different echelons, is what I mean. Is this the kind of roguelite you play for uh, an hour and go, that's fun, I get it. Or is this like a, you know, Slay the Spire, Isaac, Hades, Spelunky sort of thing where you're like, I could see me sinking some time into this. And, you know, for now, from what I watched, I haven't played, obviously, basically any of it so far. From what I've watched, seems like the kind of game you could spend a, a decent amount of time playing, for sure. But let's see, because we're, we're still just getting started. Still just figuring it out. I'm, I'm hoping these eggs will hatch soon and we can see some of the familiars and the, the item interactions and stuff like that. These guys got frozen by something. Maybe maybe some of our shots are elemental? I'm not sure. One crystal. Sure. Oh no, it costs a crystal to open? I don't know. <laughs> we got one back at least, but... Uh, we, we need to... Oh, we do have a bomb. Hold on. Hold on, hold on. So that's our boss. There is some gold in that other room, but I think uh, we, we're going to need some items first. I've managed to not get hit up to this point on this floor, but uh, I, I think realistically that's probably not going to last that long. By the way, I should... Can, you, can I teleport? Or maybe I have to be in a room with the teleporter to teleport. That would make sense. I'm also noticing this uh, meter down here, and I'll just be honest with you, I don't know what it means. Definitely not wisdom, considering I just blew myself up. So in the in the parlance of roguelites, two swords means you will fight waves of enemies and then get some kind of reward. That's what I'm hoping is happening here. So far, so good. We got some cuphead enemies. What is that? Mercenary Lord. The more coins you have, the more damage your weapon does. Yo, it's Dan's bandana. <laughs> I will say, a lot of the items you will see here, and that's uh, basically a spirit heart, or a half spirit heart, I guess. Um, a lot of the items you will see, at least that I've seen so far uh, from watching Dan play, um, they definitely have items that are like in other games. They're analogous to items in other games. I think that's just, you know, what happens in roguelites. You know, there's only so many ways you can write, like, you know, attack speed up. But I'm hoping to see some some novel stuff as well. Um, what is this? This requires a key. We do have keys. Let's go into the sick Mundus door. And this is like our item room. Electric sheep. Do androids dream? When you have shields, you can make an extra jump. Okay. So as long as we have a, a spirit heart, we can do a second jump. I can live with that. More coins equals more damage too. I don't know where... Where does this... Oh, I was going to say, where does it say where our coins are? I see where it says where our gold is, but come on, how many coins do we have? Basically, I'm an idiot, is what I'm trying to say. So, I'll admit, right off the bat, it seems very good. I'm having a good time playing this. And I forgot, we got a double jump there. You, you just kind of keep coming back, huh? Or maybe maybe you were teleporting and I didn't, I didn't notice. Um, this, seems, this seems very good so far. I'm, oh, I forgot when it hits the ground, they... And there goes my double jump. When it hits the ground, they kind of spread. There we go. Um, I, I want to see the, the way that things synergize in this game, though. I want to see, you know, if we can take it to the next level. I also think that unlike something like Gungeon, you can only hold one weapon at a time. Uh... And I'm eager to see how the game makes that work. Because, you know, the way that things work in Gungeon, sometimes, uh, and I, I'm using them as analogs. Three crystals? I'm in, boys. I'm going to be honest. I'm out. <laughs> I don't really want to spend... Uh, I, I Let me just tell you, I'll, I'll give it to you straight. I thought that three gold was a little bit more. Or uh, 43 gold was a little bit more than it actually was. I thought we were going to be able to buy something incredible. That was clearly not the case. I thought about buying a shield so that we could actually do a double jump, but I think we're realistically going to lose it pretty quickly, so let's not worry about it too much. Um, anyway. Uh, yeah, like Gungeon, the way that Gungeon works, obviously they... Uh, 
you know, you have different guns that are more usable in certain situations. Like, for example, uh, you know, you, you don't want to use low ammo, high damage guns against basic enemies. Remington, the god of guns. I'm interested to see how they... Oh, bouncing shots, okay. I'm interested to see how they work around that, or, or if they work around that, in a game where you really only keep uh, one gun at any given time. Okay, um... Maybe, maybe try using some verticality on that one. Terrible jump. Absolutely horrible. Okay, it's all going wrong. Never mind, we still won, but it was very scary. <laughs> Space soda. Atomized cola. Add a heart container and increase weapon damage slightly. Okay, thank God we're still alive. I think we learned a lot there, like, hey, don't just stand on the ground is a pretty good piece of feedback that, that seems to be uh, relatively useful. I don't think we can actually get anything else right now with, with no extra grenades. I think we're kind of just you know, more or less stuck where we are with, with respect to these chests and stuff like that. So let's move it on. Let's move it on. And is it only five levels? We're on level two already? Because level one was the tutorial, I guess. Wait, by the way. Yo, when are these eggs hatching, dude? We've had these eggs for so long. <laughs> I don't know if we need to take damage to cause them to... To pog up, it honestly beats me. Okay, I know that that thing right there is a deal with the devil. So we, we spend some money, or some HP, I should say, on walking into it. And I believe that that means we'll get access at some point to a deal with the devil. But I also ask for your mercy, you know? It is it is the first time, you know, playing a roguelite. There we go. Let's just let that dissipate. You know, it takes a bit sometimes to figure out, uh, you know, what, what's happening when. I mean, come on. There we go. The jump is like, it's, the window on it is kind of tight right now. The, the double jump would be useful. Um, okay, so that's, oh, it's a deal with the devil now. Is that the case? <laughs> it transformed in front of me. We are, um, that just maybe means we have to pay HP to enter. Okay. So should we have done that? No, probably not. Um, we do have 70 gold, though. I don't really want to buy anything sight unseen. I know this is like... I mean, we're showing off the game. And we're like, I don't want to buy anything because I got the item that gives you more damage the more money you have. Yeah, but I'm like... If we save our money now because it gives us a good damage advantage and we live longer as a result think of the incredible stuff that we could buy in the future how about that i wouldn't mind a new gun though hey, this gun is doing great for us but some weapon variety would be uh, to see it would be nice i don't even want to know how much gold i'm leaving behind right now oh oh the flies are getting angry i don't know what this guy he's like breaking all the breaking all the blocks for me I'll take it. We really, we have a grenade problem. We need more grenades. We've seen so many situations where there's definitely like lurking consumables. I think, I, and actually I say I think, but I know for certain. If you have a, an explosive weapon, you can uh, use that to blow up. That's a mimic, dude. <laughs> oh, maybe it's not, it scared me though. We got another egg. We got a double jump. You know what? That's great timing! Look at that! Lots of crystals we got no need for just yet, but that's okay. So I think that's our boss. Let's just keep him moving for a moment here. Even more eggs? Are you kidding me? Dude, I feel like I'm in Yoshi's Island. When are these gonna hatch? I can't remember if I finished my train of thought. Basically, if you get explosives, you can blow up the rocks. Or if you get a gun that shoots explosives, you can blow up the rocks with that gun. You don't have to specifically use bombs for it. Like Ipecac and Isaac, for example. Talk. God of mobile videos. All right. You got a, you got a lot of stuff flying around there. I'll admit that should have been pretty dodgeable. <laughs> but I just did not dodge. How are you half dead already? That doesn't seem right. I instinctively pressed right click. Oh. Tried to double jump over it. Oh, but we didn't have our shield anymore, right? I pressed right click to try to do a dodge roll. 
Some of these shots I should not be getting hit by. Some of them I'm like, it makes sense. I don't blame myself too much. All right, what do you got for me? Blue protocol. Let it guide you. Add shields and upgrade your weapon. Okay. It sound. Don't get me wrong. The weapon sounds nice. Dunk, dunk, dunk. Um, we're gonna do a little bit more exploring here. So far, I I have not faced death really. Um, I wonder how often often uh, blue protocol adds shields. If it's like holy mantle, that could be like or not holy mantle. If it's like the relic, that would be incredible. What do you want from me? A key? I will I will pay a key, sick Mundus. I will pay a key. It's a plague doctor. Plague mask. You have a chance of recovering half a heart every time you kill an enemy. Um, I'm calling it, by the way. We're going all the way here. I do want to say, don't we have, like, an inventory? Yeah. So let's look at this for a second. We have a level two. So I guess all guns... Oh, the weapon makes it so eggs never hatch. That's right. This is, like, the worst possible run to show off the game. I'm buying no items because we get damage off of them. And, uh... Our eggs will never hatch as long as we're holding this, but we can replace this at some point. So I guess weapons also independently you can upgrade via some items. And then, all of our stuff that we've got stacks. So even though you might think that they're masks, so they like wouldn't stack, you know, you could only hold like one of them. I think that uh, that's not the case. Yeah, get me out of here. I do also want to say... I think that eggs not hatching could be advantageous when we switch weapons, assuming we get the chance. Because uh, the eggs hatch into familiars that have like a certain time period or a certain amount of HP. What do you want? Three crystals? Just to get to the shop? Absolutely not. I don't buy things. I'm an influencer. They send them to me. Oh. What do we got? Another egg. But yeah, so by having all of our... Um, that, that's a joke, by the way, in case you're getting mad. I do buy most of what we play on Northern Lion Tries, actually. Um, but... Uh, let me out. Spooky. Um, dude, are, is it just me or are our bullets freaking huge here? Anyway, having all of our eggs hatch in close proximity to one another later in the game when they can do more damage... And by damage, I mean sometimes literally damage, but mostly just have a bigger effect. Oh my god. It's, uh, it, it could be worth a lot, actually. You guys are not scaring me too much right now. I have a feeling that, that this will be one of the rare videos where we're, we're in, like, first try victory settings. My roguelite senses right now, I will spend a key on this. We got a key back anyway. My roguelite senses are telling me that we have the tools we need to succeed right now. A crystal. Well, if we're going to get other crystals, we might as well open the shop. But we'll, we'll see if we get other crystals. Also, our meter in the bottom now is... Uh, is red instead of purple. So red is... They were saying like red is violence and purple is wisdom. You get more violence when you complete a room after taking damage. You get more wisdom uh, by completing a room without taking damage. I don't know what the stats actually end up affecting. A little puffin mask. Rain... Oh, no, that's a, like a toucan, not a puffin. Kill enough enemies and you'll drop extra eggs? It's a... Is it a new weapon? It's not a new weapon. What is this? Oh, it's a souvenir that goes on our gun. <laughs> Weird. Um, anyway, I, do, I don't think there's a better time to fight the boss than right now. Johnny, God of Idols. Alright, let's... Oh, bad start. Let's figure out what you do, Johnny. Coming down from the heavens. This is a bad one. Oh, I really thought we might make it there. Keep it up. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Move it. Good work. Okay. Then we're starting to slip into a rhythm here. I really thought I could have dodged that one. Okay, okay. It's getting a little spicy. Oh, no, no, no. With no dodge roll. 
is dangerous. I mean, you knew that we were in trouble as soon as I said there's a chance we beat this on our first try. That's like the, the ultimate jinx. Never mind, we destroyed you. Soul Flask. You hear whispers in the bottle. Add a heart container and recover some hearts. I mean, we, we got the Estus Flask. We got some HP. We're, we're cruising. Can't find an explosive to save our lives, but we, we're off to the races here. <laughs> right now, I'm just... Honestly, it's very rare that I ask for this in this series, but I'm like, hey. Oh, good good bouncing bullet. Wasn't expecting that. I'm like, hey, make it... Uh, take it to the next level. Make the game a little bit harder. Give me, give me some patterns I ain't never seen before. <sighs> okay, so we, we're leaving the crystals because we can actually open the shop. Uh, yeah, let's teleport. And then this is the shop. We're not going to go to the shop just yet. We're going to explore the rest of the floor first, because... We have seen our... Assuming there's one item room per floor, because I've played roguelites before. You hear a strange sound coming from afar. Is this... Oh, because my violence is at max level or something. Um, I wonder if it appeared on the map. Does not appear to have... We're getting shields like crazy. We're getting HP like crazy. I'll, I'll call it. This is like... I think we have created an incredibly overpowered run somehow. Even then, I'm still taking a little damage. But it is what it is. Did I walk into that thing? Did I, did I walk into the... Into the, the demon heart? I have no idea. You know how it is with roguelites. You know, like... The first time you're playing them, you're, you're just... Trying to stay alive, you know, whatever you can figure out uh, is is gravy. It's a new gun. The passenger. Enjoy yourself. Active damages all enemies in the room. All right, we're gonna try it mostly because it also means that our eggs will hatch. <laughs> um, are these explosive at all? Nope, they do appear to have some kind of ice ability, but not explosive. Um, yeah. How, how does one do this? Oh, here we are. Hello. Sacrifice. I sacrificed one red heart container. We got, um, Devil Horn, Smithing Hammer, or Shark Bait. It's gotta be damage, right? Then these let you increase weapon damage and melee damage. Don't worry about the sudden craving for flesh. I was guessing Smithing Hammer would like upgrade our weapon, and then uh, I don't know what Shark Bait would be, which might have made it a, a good choice. I know I said I was going to go to the shop. I've decided now that we have a weapon for free. No, 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 no. Now I'm committed. Now I'm like, we're going to make this work. We're taking the dub today. Okay, you, you appear to be doing a lot of damage. It's good stuff. If you get into trouble, panic right click. It's that simple. You can damage all enemies in the room. Thank you for the free egg. And our eggs... Is this the boss? Oh my god. Argus, god of the dark net. Oh, this is a cool arena. What's going on? Hello. Oh my. <laughs> I don't know if we have to kill every single one of these things, but let's be honest. It would surprise me if we didn't. Try landing a shot. That's a cool trick. We got another egg. I'm telling you, once these sons of guns start hatching, the whole world is going to be our oyster. Okay, you got to you got to keep moving. I did right click there. I don't know if it worked. Skill is not ready. Okay, fair enough. That's my bad. I thought the skill was ready. Good work. This is a much tougher fight, though. Ah. Is my skill ready? Help me. <laughs> Help me. Help me. Should probably be jumping more, but I'm... Kind of singularly focused on just staying alive right now. Oh, that one hurt. That that one hurt even more. No, I will not give up the dream. 
Oh, the dream is done. Okay. Well, you know what? I, I think it's a good, uh, it's a convenient way to finish the episode here. Hold on. Hold on. We have four unlock crystals as well. There will be at least one hidden room on e each level of the dungeon. Consider yourself unlocked. What the heck is this, though? One. Your current target is Argus, the god of the dark net. Beats me. Kill enough enemies, and you'll drop extra hearts. Sure. You will get these items for free in your next run, thanks to the free trial. The piano room? That's funny. <laughs> um... Anyway, um, we're gonna we're gonna call it here, but this is uh, Neon Abyss, a very cool uh, roguelite that's coming out soon. Keep your eye on it; could be a fun time. For now, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Again, thank you to Team Seventeen for sending me a copy of this game. Uh, I would be surprised if we didn't see more of this in the future, whether on streams or uh, you know its own little mini series or something like that. But for now, thanks for watching. Hope you've enjoyed it. Please do check out the game on Steam if you're interested. I'll put a link to the video description. Uh, if it's out, you can pick it up. Whether or not it's out, you can add it to your wish list to be notified of when it comes out or when it goes on sale and stuff like that. And I'm sure the developers and publisher would appreciate it. Apart from that, if you enjoyed the episode, please do click the like button. It helps me out a great deal. In fact, it's the single best way to help me out as a content creator on YouTube for you, the viewer. So I appreciate it if you do it, if you enjoy the episodes. Apart from that, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. See ya.